Hello everyone, we are going to talk about acute abdomen or acute abdominal pain localization according to the region or the quadrant of the patient abdomen. So if you understand that the patient abdomen is divided by two methods, quadrants, four or nine regions. So we will start by abdominal regions and the quadrants. The regions are nine. We have the right hypochondrium, the right flank, right inguinal or groin region. We have epigastric, umbilical, bubic region or suprabubic region. We have also left hypochondrium, left flank, left inguinal region as well. These are divided by four lines, to be honest. From both sides, the mid-clavicular lines, and these are vertical and two horizontal lines. If you see here, this is subcoastal plane, and you have the uh, transtubercular plane. So these quadrants, to be honest, will localize the intra-abdominal organ that tender over it. Like if you have pain in this area, you have to think about which organ in this anatomically. Quadrants by the midline, this is one line, and trans-umbilical line. So this is umbilicus, you will do a cross like this. So we have right upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, left upper quadrant and left lower quadrant. If you feel the pain is more diffuse in one quadrant of the abdomen, so it's better to say right upper quadrant pain, left lower quadrant pain, like this. So you will divide the abdomen like this, and according to the color, we are going to classify the abdominal pain. So the right side, you have to think about lever, abscess, liver disease, mass, enlargement, gallbladder, all pathologies, biliary colic, acute cholecystitis, ascending cholangitis, and cholecystitis or CBD stones. In this region also the stomach will give some participation, so you've, you should think about uh, Biloric obstruction, stomach problems, gastrites, duodenal ulcer, peptic ulcer disease, pancreatitis, because the head of the pancreas is there, and the suprarenal and the kidney, suprarenal gland and the kidney. But this will be from more or less from the flank and then to the back, because the kidney is retroperitoneal organ sticking to the back. And then we have the hepatic flexure of the colon, ascending colon, and part of the transverse hemicolon. If you are going to think about the left lower quadrant, the liver as well, don't forget the spleen, don't forget the pancreas, the body and tail, stomach, don't forget the left suprarenal and left kidney and splenic flexure, descending colon and part of the transverse hemicolon. We have to talk about the right lower quadrant. We have the cecum and adjacent the appendix. So think about appendicitis, terminal ileitis and Crohn's disease. You have to think about this. Ascending colon, if you have any mass, so you have to think about right colonic tumors. Right ureter, if you have ureteric colic in this region because the ureter will be there. And spermatic cord, uterus if female or urinary bladder if very full. The last quadrant, sigmoid pathologies, diverticulites, ovarian, ovary in both sides if female and uterine, so tube ovarian pathology and ureter spermatic cord as well, and urinary bladder if very full. This is very simple classification of pain. 
to think about any acute abdomen as not as general surgeon, but any other specialty to just rule out any pain. Thank you very much. These are basic informations just to refresh your medical school anatomy. Thank you very much.